three years ago, Lance, uh, Pastor Lance approached some of us in the congregation to create a school board because God had given him a vision that Calvary Chapel of Oxnard should start a Christian school. What my husband and I did was interview uh, principals, headmasters from other Christian schools. And one of the suggestions was that we hire an excellent principal or headmaster that can lay the foundation long before the school actually opens. And so we went back to the board and we suggested that. And because of that, they found and hired Ron Matthews. I'm excited to be the principal here at this school. It's a dream come true. Uh, Pastor Lance and I met about three years ago to discuss the possibility of starting a Christian school as a ministry of uh, Calvary Chapel Oxnard. In our discussion, he shared with me the vision that God had laid on his heart. Uh, the vision for the school is to produce graduates that know how to think and live biblically, who understand their God-ordained calling and are prepared to be able to take their field captive to Christ. Every subject that we teach here is taught from a biblical perspective. We want our students to have a reverence to God's Word, to really understand uh, God's calling in their life so that the vocation, whatever vocation they decide on or that God leads them to, is one in which they can glorify the Lord, uh, not just here to learn how to make a living, but also uh, to learn how to live as well. That is our emphasis, that is our goal. One of the things the Lord has shown me is that He's gifted me um, as a nationally board certified teacher and in education to help provide guidance for both students and teachers. I've done a lot of research into teacher effectiveness and quality schools, and I am excited to be able to use those gifts and talents that the Lord has given me to help mentor our new teachers and our students as they map out their path to college. Uh, students have gone to various campuses, Westmont College for example, and it seems like each campus they go to they want to attend that college. They've gone to Cal State Channel Islands for career day as well. We've had various speakers come in from colleges uh, and universities to speak. We've had uh, a speaker come, a commander from the Sheriff's Department come and uh, talk to the students about a, a career in law enforcement. So our goal is to, ex to expose students to a variety of occupations that they might, again, know uh, what choices that, that there are and, again, seeking God's direction in their life. We are meeting at Grace Bible Church. Um, the church, we're being a blessing to the church as well as the church is a blessing to us by providing classrooms that we might be able to meet. The great thing about working at a Christian school is being able to integrate biblical values and ideas into the curriculum, which you don't get at a public school. Uh, especially in history and in English, I love to be able to talk about not only what we're learning, but the moral aspects of it as well. When we're talking about things such as, as slavery, as other things like that, we get to talk about our ability to look at this from a Christian's perspective rather than just from the perspective of what happened. Some of our field trips have included a trip to the Griffith Observatory, and some of our labs have included dissecting owl pellets and making our own roller coasters, consisting of tubes and marbles. Our room was a big mess of all these roller coasters, but they have a good time. If you have any questions, if you feel more free to ask and get help, even after school, the teachers are here to help you in any way they can, and they really care about you. For a brand new school to have a, a new gymnasium right across the street from where we hold classes, we do use the gym four days a week, uh, four PE classes uh, doing everything from exercises to volleyball to basketball and just uh, all kinds of indoor uh, sports that is available to us. I totally see uh, a basketball program in the works uh, for sure, uh, a volleyball program, uh, a soccer program. I try not only to, to, to work with them in regards to physical education but to instill in them uh, how important it is for them uh, to live pure and holy lives, to be, to be um, righteous in every facet of their life. One of the distinctives of Calvary Chapel is verse-by-verse -verse teaching through the Bible. And so even in our Bible class, that's our, our model, we, we teach verse-by-verse. -verse. We go through the verses and we break it down and what it means, and we kind of relate it to like everyday life. So it's a lot easier to understand. We'll give students a foundation in theology and, and apologetics. Like I learned a lot about like theology and 
it's made understanding the Bible a lot easier. So I've grown through that. So as we read verse by verse and we study the Bible chapter by chapter, paragraph by paragraph, I look for comprehension. We focus on skills of reading and context and understanding background and looking for common themes and the main point of a passage. We teach the students about worship from a biblical perspective. We also teach them how to play guitar and piano. Uh, and we also teach them about music theory. I teach keyboard, I teach guitar. We do some singing and get them actually ready for a possible um, college career in music. I've really been learning how to be a worship leader and how to, I don't know, just give a lot more in my worship. And so, as a youth pastor, I believe that's my role at our school, is uh, not just teaching knowledge, not just giving tests and quizzes and outlines, but it's helping students grow in their personal relationship with Jesus, and, and that's my calling, and that's why I am at the school. Each week we have chapel here at our school, and we've had a number of speakers that were uh, exciting speakers from the community. We've had veterans uh, with their uniforms uh, describing uh, their experiences during uh, various wars. We also have uh, Carice Ralston that's going to be coming to share her experience and her trip to Israel. It's been exciting to enhance our curriculum by taking the students uh, on a variety of field trips. Uh, we've been able to go to uh, Point Magoo and, and learn all about um, what occurs on the naval base uh, and learn about the uh, various jets and those kinds of things. Our students have also gone to the Museum of Tolerance uh, and learned about the Holocaust. We're excited about the volunteers that come that have skills and talents that they teach our students. We have a number of electives. Like the electives this year, we all had bad attitudes about them in the beginning, but they all turned out really fun, like math enrichment and study skills and journalism. Journalism was really fun. We've had um, Suzanne Still come and teach a cooking class, uh, much like a home economics class, and the students learned how to properly set a table. They've done cake decorating and, and just a variety of things. Dr. Donna Ward uh, taught drama here at the school as well, getting students used to being up on stage and projecting and uh, presenting uh, a particular play. Dr. Sid Ward, who taught financial planning, he taught students how to write checks, how to, to save money. We all know how pervasive the world is, how uh, influential it is in molding our desires and our dreams. And so we, we want to be able to come around the lives of those young ones and to share with them that they can have their own relationship with God, that they can, um, they can choose at that young age to, to decide whether they're going to live for the Lord or they're going to live for the world. And of course, in our school, we're going to encourage them to, to live for, for Christ and to pursue the path that, that He has created them for.